This is where I was born, and this is where I spent my childhood next door. Growing up in Yonkers, New York... Did you have a happy childhood here? Or very much so. ...where neighbors still proudly fly the American flag. So, in some ways, it was a normal childhood. Yes, right. In many ways. Many, many, many ways. Gina Gidio did have a fairly normal childhood. Unless you count the exorcism. What was it that your parents and the priest was, were trying to accomplish with this exorcism? Well, they were trying to uh, rid me of whatever they thought was in my body that was making me do all these things. All these things, like knowing things before they happened. You'd know who was on the phone before they answered the phone? Yeah. Like healing an upstairs neighbor. And like seeing bright electric colors around people's bodies. It's there now? Yes. What color is it? It's various colors. There's about four or five different colors in layers, so to speak. And you see this? Yes. I don't see it. I know. They don't see it. I know, which I thought everybody did see it. <laughs> Aside from that, it really was a pretty normal childhood. Maybe twice a week they would take me in for this treatment. Except for the electric shock treatments. It wasn't a real nice memory, so to speak. At some point, he thinks it was after the shock therapy, Gene figured he better keep his mouth shut. He led a normal life, joined the Navy. When I came home from the Navy, I married a girl down the street. And settled down in the old neighborhood. We had four children, four lovely children. He took a job with Con Edison. Worked with a lot of electricity. A lot of electricity from uh, 4,000 volts to 138,000 volts. For 22 years, everything was hunky-dory until Gene hit his late 50s. And then uh, the memories started coming back. Memories of his rather unusual childhood powers. I didn't know how to accept it. Or, it took, as I say, almost three years before I, I literally says, okay, let's go for it. So after the exorcism and the electric shock treatments and 22 years with the electric company, Gina Gidio did what so many Americans do. He left the old neighborhood and moved west to Southern California, where, as fate would have it, he once again got plugged into the energy field. Sort of. Each person accepts energy differently. When I put my hand this way, I jokingly say it's AC energy. When I reverse it, I reverse the polarity, it's DC energy. But it's just a different type of energy. Because different situations ask for different types of energy. Today, the former energy worker is an international energy healer with celebrity clients like Steven Seagal. How nice and compassionate of you. Linda Gray. To be one of the and Catherine Oxen. I've ever known. His name is Jean Ichidio. It's a knowing where to put my hands. I'm led to put my hand where the problem is. When he came to the table, I could really feel his energy. It sort of felt like um, a gentle wave going through your body. And it just made my body vibrate. And I did feel the heat, and then I sometimes I did feel the cold. I saw you yesterday put your hands mm -hmm. over people. Tell me what you were doing. I was giving them energy, supplying the energy. And you're saying what? Energy is leaving your body and what? It's going into theirs. In order to do what? In order to do whatever it needs to do. I know what you're thinking. That's why we went to see the experts. No one really knows how energy healing works. Stephen Farian and Patricia Norris are clinical psychologists who have done extensive research on energy healers. The theory is that if the energy is neither congested nor depleted, if it's flowing normally, then healing can take place. And these two go right on your forehead. Farian was part of a landmark 10-year study done at the prestigious Menninger Clinic in Topeka, Kansas. Everywhere you look, you see that increase in power. Which found that energy healers are capable of generating up to 200 volts of electricity. Sometimes I feel the veins in my arms swelling up from the energy. Gina Gidio has never been tested by American researchers, but that doesn't stop the faithful who flock to his headquarters, a former TV repair shop in Encinitas, California. Since I come to Gina, I can walk now, I can exercise again, I feel just great. I was diagnosed with osteoarthritis at the age of 16. I just had reconstructive surgery on my knee. I came to see Gene the first time, and I can, I've had no pain since, completely healed. I was going to do some work on my knee, because I just flew in from New Orleans, actually. 
But if you can't fly in, no problem. Can you hear me, dear? Yes, I can. Tuesdays are set aside for phone healings. And right now, the healing white light of energy is forming all around you. And if you think the phone is too impersonal, just send a picture, which about a gazillion people have done. These are photos of people I've worked with all over the world and uh, people I've done photo healings on. And if you're one of those skeptics, listen carefully. Energy healing has been done, at, called healing at a distance, both on the telephone and um, with people looking at a picture. But if you still think all this is for the birds, cat, cat. you're close. He had uh, diabetes, and we were under treatment with a vet, and I brought my cat in to see Jean one time for healing, and within a week the diabetes was gone. I mean, no offense, but are you kidding? No, not kidding. <laughs> Do you want to say something to the cameras? Costner the cat wasn't talking, but his veterinarian confirmed that Costner's diabetes disappeared in one week, an outcome the vet called extremely unusual. I've never had one that got better that quickly. Well, do I look like a nut? <laughs> oh, don't answer that. No, don't answer that. Michelle Jones is a longtime Xerox employee who met Gene at a wedding. Gene doesn't look like a healer to me. He looks like a truck driver. I'm sorry, Gene. But when Michelle developed a painful ovarian cyst, she went to Gene and says the pain and the cyst went away. So you're a believer? Well, it's fat, Bernie. It's, this, is not, this is not a belief. I mean, I don't <laughs> believe in Gene. I mean, there's nothing to believe there. So it's a fact. It was there. It went away. I don't heal anybody. They heal themselves by the energy I give them. I'm skeptical. I'm not going to lie to you. It strikes me that these people come in because they're sort of desperate for some kind of non-traditional help mm -hmm. and you're more than willing to dispense it I'm skeptical yeah well number one you are entitled to whatever you think I'm not selling you nothing believe me I'm not selling you nothing number two fifty percent of the people that need medical attention today go to untraditional healings fifty percent it's a lot of people so there must be something going on there and then there's one more thing which you've probably been wondering about is it about money? No, it's not about money. No, it's about helping people. It's about sharing my gift. It's not mine, but it's mine to give out. Welcome back. Gene says $75 for an hour and a half session is a typical charge. You know what it is to see somebody come in that couldn't smile because they had so much pain? And they walk out and they smile at you? You can't buy that. There isn't a multi-billionaire in the world that can buy that. Thanks. You're a good guy. Whoa! <laughs> no, you I felt just, that. I was, I was in your eyes. I was no. just kidding. <laughs>